Okay, hello, hi, this is Rani Ahmed with you, and uh, this is uh, the uh, demonstration of uh, my SQLite server. Now, uh, we uh, like what I want to say now, just like excuse me for the uh, bad quality of the, uh, of the sound uh, because I don't have my uh, microphone at the moment, but I just was uh, wanted to be quick in uh, uh, announcing this to you. So, um, what's the SQLite server? If we read the in front of us, uh, it's now uh, published on my website, superlinux.net, in the products uh, section. And you see at the bottom of the page uh, the SQLite server. It's a, a dedicated server uh, written in Java where you can uh, connect to the uh, uh, server uh, using the telnet command and uh, issue the commands that are uh, in the uh, bullets there, uh, in the bold. Uh, uh, letters okay so um, simply the uh, program can uh, or the server uh, can give you the list of commands that you can see using the help command you have uh, slash list list all the uh, SQLite database files and because we know usually that uh, SQLite is dedicated for uh, local usage you know it's just like a your interface and the uh, file are at the and the database are in the same location. You don't need any uh, TCP/IP uh, layer, you know, to make an internet connection. So what I've made is uh, run the uh, server, okay, and let the server deal with the files that are located with the same executable uh, of uh, the server, okay, at the same location. And uh, that folder containing the executable, which is here a jar file, okay, we'll see it in a moment, and um, uh, it will uh, like deal with those SQLite files only. Uh, this is that kind of folder of the jar file of the executable of uh, the server, okay. And you see, you have just a listing like a dir command or an ls command uh, in Unix, and uh, uh, I prefer that you all guys uh, install for Windows the command file, the equivalent of the command file, uh, which is file exactly named, F I L E, uh, in Windows. Okay, look it up, you can find it. Uh, which will tell you exactly that this file is really an uh, SQLite file or, uh, or whatever else. Okay, but I'm just taking the SQLite files only just to list them for you. I don't care about other files because this is just a dedicated server for uh, SQLite. So um, the next command that we have here is uh, slash db and the file name. So uh, as you see, it sets the current database in use to be this file name. Okay. If the file name is not in the pool, in the folder, the current folder of the database serv uh, of the last server, it's a database server anyway. Um, it just creates you a new name and a new file, and it will be uh, returned to the uh, hard drive. Okay. Now, uh, there's a slash query and query, so you type slash query and uh, you get the uh, SQL statements, okay, uh, which are the select statements here, and uh, it will execute them for you and it will show you, for example, the, the, con the results of the select statement, you know, uh, whatever inside that table or whatever inside the joining of multiple tables, okay, just uh, any SQL uh, select statement that suits uh, SQLite okay and uh, the next one is you know any create insert delete uh, alter queries you know uh, you send them because those are DDL uh, data definition language okay or data for modification uh, language of the uh, uh, SQL okay and you've got the slash tables to list the table names and the file name the database okay database file SQLite file of course and uh, we've got the slash triggers similarly uh, the slash views and the slash indices to uh, list the triggers views indices respectively okay and we've got the uh, slash describe uh, and the table name uh, that you want to uh, describe so it will give you the uh, SQL uh, create statement for that uh, table you asked for in table name okay this table name and uh, of course you type the table name here instead and here type the file name instead and here type of course your query here okay and uh, finally when you don't want to use this uh, file okay, you can use slash close okay it will close that file and I prefer that you always close that file 
okay don't change before uh, using the uh, slash db command cool now let's see a test of the server now the server somewhere on my uh, is on my server okay so let's make a new connection okay I know you can this way know that there's a, a user uh, on my SSH but it doesn't matter okay okay now the, uh, if we look here okay you should find when you extract the uh, the file this one from the download location and the my site here from this link okay you get this file so once you extract it you will get this uh, jar file and this jar file so this is the uh, library that of course lets us uh, deal with everything in uh, SQLite and we're going to test on uh, on SQLite 3 this one and this new DB now those were created by mistake the, the this one and this one and all also they are already uh, and this one uh, SQL out files okay now forget about this does not matter for us and this one this one does not mean anything to us okay I was trying to use a TCL scripting language just to make uh, the same uh, idea okay so the run.sh let's cat at sh see how if we want to run the command manually okay so this is the uh, command for me or for you also to uh, run the script uh, the Java uh, program this one okay so let's say run dot sh okay so the server will be uh, running and if you want to uh, close it uh, you can use next start uh, minus uh, lp and grep java okay so you see this is the uh, PID of the uh, java application you can use kill or kill java because there is nothing else but this one but if you have so many java instances just use the number okay so i'm gonna use kill all java for easiness that will kill the application okay now let's take another run time run okay now if you notice that it's listening on a uh, number uh, two uh, twenty thousand okay some some far uh, part number i'm using um, then uh, to connect to that server I use the command telnet let's see this one okay on uh, my server okay now see it tells you to use the help command that we saw a moment ago okay and this is slash help so it will print everything uh, about the commands. Cool. Now, um, let's imagine that I wanna uh, list all my files. So uh, this is my list of files. Okay. And it stops here. So I want to see uh, whatever else of uh, database files. Okay. So let's see my uh, file uh, cashier.sqli3. So I want to connect to it so slash db cashier dot uh, sqli3 make sure that you type uh, slowly because uh, there's no way to uh, edit the uh, commands okay easy you can just use a backspace hey this is on Linux I don't know about other uh, talent uh, commands so this is my current db now I want to use a, a query for qu uh, there's a table here named item you can see all the list of all uh, tables so I say like uh, tables okay so those are all my tables here so I can see for example um, uh, use a query select 
start from item limit. I will limit. If there is a lot like 1500 uh, items, so I'm gonna limit it to uh, something like 10 or 5. Maybe 5 is good. Okay. So this is we get the barcode, the uh, the name of the item and the price and things like that. Okay. Now um, we can describe item. So describe item. See, this is the uh, item table, and this is the its uh, query. Okay, its creation query. Now, also, what do we have? Oh, let's say imagine that I'm going to create another uh, table, new table. So let's say like um, BDL. Okay, and create a table. New. And let's say it has a field F1, integer. Okay, and another field F2, F6. Good. And that's it. So we can use such tables again to make sure that it was created. Okay. So we've got new here. Okay. You have to be patient a little bit because there might be a connection delay. And uh, next, um, and I want to make a DDL to uh, insert uh, a new entry here. So insert into new okay, values. Let's say here one and uh, name one, name example whatever. Another one to here and say uh, people. Okay, another one here. Let's see and say God. Just words because I'm using uh, the other one to be text. Okay, so this is insert. Now if we use the query. see I got the whole table here okay so uh, that's it um, you know there's the you saw uh, similar to the tables command you've got the uh, uh, indices and the uh, views and the uh, uh, triggers okay um, and if I want to close or just close the database it doesn't close the connection okay it just close the connection with the database like it's just like uh, the pointer pointed to that database like as if you're closing the file but you don't shut down your computer okay so I just say close okay and that's all so this is uh, everything if you want to disconnect just press uh, like it says in the terminal here uh, the control plus the uh, right uh, of the closing bracket, okay, and press enter and just press Q until the disconnected, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter that you're gonna get a, an exception, just uh, accept it, okay, that uh, you've been disconnected, okay. So, this is all about my uh, app. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Please uh, click the, uh, um, the uh, advertisements and the likes and put your comments. Uh, this is still just a version of the app. We will see uh, how it will go from here. Okay, but as you saw, it works basically. Thanks for watching. Bye.